Since the dawn of time, vibrations of the Earth have transformed the physical formations of our planet. For millions of years, the illustrious Ring of Fire has teemed with Mother Nature to spout steam and lava from the volcanic forefathers of our Earth. Seizures from inside its core shake the globe into violent fits, while roaring waters stampede shores like unsuspecting giants. Deemed natural are these disasters, and with every transformation reaps rejuvenation. In recent times, the disintegration of cities left to dissolve under the Earth's wrath only served to rebuild themselves soon after. With every loss breathes new life. For anyone who lives amongst or visits the Ring of Fire, they well know the threats that come with the territory and the risk of physical and industrial demise at any foreseeable moment. The most erratic and dynamic geological region of the world, here are six major reasons the Pacific Ring of Fire poses a threat to our existence. Number 5. Hope. There really is none. While further research may open up new doors for tectonic plate prediction, Mother Nature will forever remain far beyond the scope of our control. The best practice is to focus on developments in early warning systems, such as the 19 warning towers administered in the Phuket region of Thailand after more than 5,000 people were killed there. Educating residents and travellers of the high-risk areas of the Ring of Fire, as well as facilitating modes of excavation and access to shelter is a step in the right direction, according to the International Tsunami Information Center. Those in nations such as Japan have taken to a number of techniques to advert crisis, such as engineering earthquake-proof homes. While we may be able to predict these natural occurrences, we can't do much more than prepare. Disasters such as those prone to the Pacific Ring of Fire will never cease. Number 4. Dangers Posed Volcanoes loom as a constant reminder of the furnace upon which we live, yet earthquakes are an ecological terror in themselves. Fortunately, those who choose to live amongst the Pacific Ring of Fire well know of the dangers that come with the territory. It is of no mystery that the countries here are far more prone to the advances of volcanic eruption, earthquakes and tsunamis more than any other geographic glitch on the globe. The exposure to natural calamities is higher than ever, yet millions of people call this tidal wave of impending tragedy their home. An astounding 80% of the Earth's major earthquakes occur along the area also known as the Circum-Pacific Belt, with one famous incident being the San Francisco earthquake of 1906. Deemed the most horrific and fatal earthquake in the history of the United States, the death toll of 3,000 ensures that the greatest loss of life from a natural disaster in California. With a magnitude of 7.9, is determined as one of the most tectonically active places on the planet. In 1605, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.9 rocked the Nankai and Tokai stretches of Japan, resulting in a devastating tsunami which left thousands dead. If that weren't enough, 2011 saw an even bigger tragedy. A Richter recording of 9.1 shook the Pacific coast of Tohoku and savaged the island which was soon called the most powerful disaster ever documented in the history of the nation. 15,000 deaths and thousands of others injured designate Japan a superhighway of Teutonic terror. 2004 saw a fatal blow to the planet in what is rendered as one of the deadliest natural disasters in world history. Immense movement on the ring was the source of a catastrophic tsunami responsible for the deaths of around 300,000 people. In what is known as the Sumatra Andaman earthquake, an undersea megathrust quake rendered a magnitude of 9.3 on the Richter scale. Effectively, a seeming never-ending series of tsunamis tore through coastlines of Southeast Asia and was so powerful it remotely encouraged earthquakes as far off as Alaska. The repercussions of mass homelessness and in some places irreparable living conditions and commerce throughout Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka and India. A worldwide humanitarian response generated around 14 million dollars in help and restoration. To add insult to injury, the extent of destruction is not limited to quakes and tsunamis alone. One of the most disruptive and dangerous volcanoes in the Ring of Fire is known as Krakatoa in the Sundra Strait of Indonesia. 
While these chambers within the Earth's crust do not explode as often as other earthquakes, when they do, the aftermath proves horrific. Responsible for one of the most violent accounts in volcanic history, the year 1883 saw the demise of 165 villages and towns, with an additional 132 severely damaged. The real horror, however, lay in the vast number of victims, uh, with at least 36,417 dead and 1,000 more injured, a result of the tsunami aftermath in the wake of the explosion. This incident was so detrimental it destroyed 70% of the entire island. Since 1927, new eruptions at Krakatoa have given birth to a new island, and Nat Krakatau, child of Krakatoa, and December of this past year witnessed grave disaster as well. Here the Sundra Strait shuddered violently with explosions of lava. Undersea landslides sent a series of tsunamis surging toward land. There was no warning of the barbaric waves which struck the island, diminishing hundreds of buildings, homes, land and trees. In this incident, 222 people have been killed, with 843 left injured. The Ruapehu volcano, the largest in New Zealand, is one of the most active in the world since it began erupting 250,000 years ago. To date, major eruptions have occurred at a consistency of about 50 years apart, in 1895, 1945 and 1995 with major eruptions of at least 60 since 1945. In Chile, the La Amal volcano is one of the largest and most active in the country, and thousands of people of neighbouring villages have been evacuated during its last explosion in 2008. In 1991 occurred the second largest eruption of the century to date after the 1912 catastrophe in Alaska. Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines saw the most expansive eruption to ever affect such a densely populated area. The aftermath saw a series of high-speed avalanches of hot ash and gas, massive mud flows and clouds of volcanic debris for hundreds of miles. It is easy to see the number of volcanic vessels dotting the globe and the Pacific Rim particularly, yet figuring out how to cope with such disasters is another thing entirely. Number 3. Volcanic Disturbance a string of 452 volcanoes renders the Ring of Fire home to 75% of the world's active volcanoes. Here, three quarters of Earth's lava spewing landmasses exist such as Mount Fuji of Japan, St. Helens of the United States, Karakatoa of Indonesia and Popocatepetl of Central Mexico dubbed one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the region. To add fuel to the fire, 25 of our planet's largest eruptions in the last 11,700 years were a product of the Rim's Ring, a direct result of plate tectonics and the shuffling of lithospheric plates. These fire-blowing fissures permeate the Ring from the southern tip of South America, up along the coast of North America, across the Bering Strait, down through Japan and finally into New Zealand. The abundance of active and also dormant volcanoes in Antarctica, however, represent the geographical closing of the aforementioned area. Number 2. Tectonic Plates The constant convergence of major and minor tectonic plates denotes the danger zone and internal hotspot for natural catastrophe, at least as long as the planet exists. And for however long that is, the renowned Ring of Fire will forever pose a fatal threat to civilization. What proves these tectonic regions so tumultuous is that they're massive slabs of cohesive crust which fit together like a puzzle. As they are not fixed, these plates are continuously moving and meddling with layers of molten rock known as mantle. Determination of whether these plates will collide, slide or shift apart are difficult, so a heightened state of sensitivity pervades the expanse of Earth associated with the Pacific Rim. Along the region of the largest tectonic plate in the world, spanning 103 million square kilometers, science determines that the youngest part of the Pacific Plate is 2 million years old, the oldest approximately 100. In recent years, studies have shown that the younger plate is cooling off, thus contracting at a much faster rate than its older counterpart. Considering the plates are in constant motion, shifting and tremoring within Earth's crust, the plate is deemed far from stable. Number 1. Location The most dangerous geographical region of the world also happens to be one of the most beautiful. 
Picturesque lands boast blue pristine waters and thriving jungles. Jutting from the islands you'll find bustling cities of wealth and power. Here, islands and countries such as Samoa, Vanuatu, Tonga, Thailand, Tokyo and Indonesia dot the fiery foundation. What's more, the explosive ring isn't circular but rather a horseshoe, spanning a scope 25,000 miles wide in the basin of the cool Pacific. Its parameters run along the shores of Chile, to Alaska, to Japan, to New Zealand. Along this expanse survive a series of deep oceanic trenches, volcanic arcs, belts and mantle movements. Amongst all the beauty, what then is the source of such seismic proportions of physical phenomena? Which leads to this episode's question. If you were in the Ring of Fire area and an earthquake hit, what would you do? Leave all your ideas in the comments below.